Yo, man, what's going on, Nace Nation? You know what I'm saying, man? We back with another video, you know what I mean? And, man, the, the last video, man, it, like, blew up but, like it did, you know what I mean? And, like, a lot of people came on there and stuff like that, you know, about the, you know, Cash App giveaway and stuff like that. Now, I also have news on the Cash App giveaway because, you know, a lot of people were asking about it, people in the comments. Okay, I get it. You know what I mean? And, um, and one thing before I do say something, something about the giveaway, okay? It's got to be Cash App, okay? You know, I get people saying, you know, it's in, in my About section and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, it's their PayPal. I don't do PayPal. I do Cash App. So, um, it's got to be Cash App, okay? I do see a couple people on there, you know what I mean? Man, we, bro, you know how many subscribers I got last night, dude? And this is the most I've gotten in one night. But I got, dude, I'm at 211, man. Last night I was at 199. So, I'm super, super happy about that, bro. Um, I'm at 211 right now, man. We're getting up there, man. We're getting it. Finally over 200. Well over 200. Let's keep it going, you know what I mean? And um, make sure you guys like on this video. Make sure you guys subscribe. Share this channel because, we, you know, we're going to get up there, you know what I mean? Um, another thing I was going to um, let you guys know about the Cash App giveaway. So, hopefully you guys can see me. I know the sun is bright, you know what I mean? Hold on. I go this way. Okay, this, okay, this way is a little bit better. Okay, so... I'm probably going to do the cash up giveaway at the end of next month, so be ready. Um, I saw some people, saw a couple people go ahead and put their names down, um, their cash app names. That's good. I'm going to, like, I'm going to put down in my notes, in my notes section, like, your cash app name. So don't think I'm just, like, going to leave this video, you know what I mean, and just not, you know, remember you. I'm going to put you in my notes. So whenever I go and I do the cash out giveaway and stuff like that, I can like go in there and like see this and that. Also tell me like what you would do with the money. You know what I'm saying? It's $50. You know what I mean? $50, you know, a lot of people would be blessed. Man, let me tell you, man, we were blessed to even get $5. You know what I mean? Money is, um, we definitely don't take that stuff for granted. You know what I mean? So, you know, and we, we, we're going to keep going up. We're going to keep getting, you know, more of it. So, um, me working and stuff. Like I said, you know what I'm saying? I got a beautiful daughter on the way. I'm super, super excited. You know what I mean? Uh, four more months. Four more months and then she's here. So, I'm happy about that. Okay, so, title of this video, you know what I mean? And the last video, don't be afraid to ask for help. This is kind of like a follow-up with this video, you know what I mean? But there's no limit to your dreams. And I kind of like, because I, I used to kind of limit myself in a way um, of just what I could do and what I could accomplish and this is one thing I like about Tyler because you know I listen to a lot of Tyler and I watch a lot of Tyler too and like Tyler really like sets the bar and like sets the tone for me and stuff like that and uh, um, I, 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 just, I just love his like thinking I love his creativity I love how he just he, he doesn't you know he, he's never nervous about anything he's not anxious he doesn't have any fear he goes for it you know and people used to tell him like oh no your stuff's gonna be too niche you're gonna last like six months and then just come you know crashing down you know what I mean and I mean look at him now you know what I mean and um, I just think it's so cool on how he just on how he's up there and I feel like when we limit ourselves and and, and this is what I was talking about in the last video when he said when, when I when, when I quoted um, a Tyler song saying um, I want you to reach with no remember that there's no ceiling I want you to reach with no ceiling um, and it's true. There's no ceiling. You know, we kind of limit. Oh well, this is only how much I can do. Um, and it, it, it's honestly, it's not true. You know what I mean? Um, I'm actually in the works of making a song right now. Um, and that's like I, I'm, you know, and just like I said in the last video, like I either want to be a musician or an author. Now with songwriting, it's a little bit different for me because. With songwriting, I kind of, I guess I kind of overthink it, but a, long, a lot of songwriters do, they kind of overthink it and stuff like that, because, you know, they're trying to make a rhyme, you know, other than when I make my books, with the books is just boom, 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 it's just a recurring story in the top of my head, but I kind of already know, like, what I want to do with it, um, so I'm in the middle of writing this song, I was supposed to work on it today, um, and I already have the instrumental um, on like what I want to do. It's a free Tyler the Creator type beat, um, and I just I I've, I have fallen in love with it. I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna make that song. And honestly, dude, I feel like if I can make this song, dude, I feel like it could be a hit. I really do, especially with this instrumental. I feel like it honestly could be a hit. 
Um, but I, I just feel like me starting here, with, you know, because I, I, I've always said that I was, I, I was something special. I knew I was something special. Just my creativity on just how I've, one, how I've gotten out of situations, one, just, I mean, and, and, and that goes for anybody, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gloating. Yeah, gloating. <laughs> I, 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 I kind of got mixed up there for a little bit. I don't know why, but yeah, like, I'm not gloating. I'm not boasting or anything, but I mean, no, seriously, man, like, me starting here and, like, me, me, well, me honestly starting back and when I was, like, eight, nine years old, you know, writing my first book and just writing down a piece of paper and stuff like that. Again, it's like the third chapter. I didn't finish it. I came back about a couple years later and I actually like had a laptop and I ended up writing, I ended up writing three of them, uh, three books. And I was in the middle of writing a fourth one, but didn't, um, I ended up stopping because of the fact that I, um, I didn't have my laptop anymore but two is because they the it, it was on my school computer or no my school email and they ended up deleting um disabling my uh school my school email and that's where all my books was on i didn't transfer it so that bummed me out i honestly i almost cried because that was like my latest work and I, it discouraged me for to keep writing because you know i already wrote three but it's like where do I start from this? And I had to get that encouragement back up. Be like, look, you can still rewrite the story. You could even make it better, you know, than the first time. You know, you can make it even better. You can put all three of them in the one, you know, and who knows? But I want people to understand that you, there's no limit to what you want to If you want to do it, you can do it. You know, I hate when people listen to society and what society says because society will teach you one thing and you know, honestly, it's just not that thing. They'll say like, oh, well, oh, well, no. Like, the, here's the thing about it. They try, the, the way society, and this is how society limits your dreams because society will tell, will, will give you numbers. That's what they'll do. They'll give you numbers and they'll give you stats and be like, hey, this is this, this is that. Um, this is how many people do that. Um, you know, and honestly, dude, stats don't mean nothing. And the thing is, when people look at stats, that honestly, that honestly affects what they, what people actually like go and do, um, and how they make their work. Because, and that goes for songwriters, for like you know, musicians, anybody. It affects on what they do because now you're putting a limit on like this and like you're telling me you're basically telling me how to run it and you're telling me how i need to do it but i feel like if you do your own stuff you go and you do your own way it's a whole lot better um instead of listening to society and that's why I, I i can't stand society i don't like society um because that's what they'll tell you in society that's what i'm saying society puts a limit on it um, to anything that you want to do it don't matter football you know it'd be like oh well this is a percentage of people that make it to the nfl this is a percentage of people that make it to the nba I mean, you know a real person don't listen to society man don't listen to that okay don't follow the country's rules if you follow the country's rules it, it's just gonna you're gonna be trapped there you don't you don't want to be trapped and that's the thing and that's what i'm doing and that's what tyler did tyler didn't give a crap he he went and he did his own stuff. He knew there was no limit. And people would tell him, like, oh, no, like, this isn't going to be good. People going to think that your stuff is too weird. Um, you know, he said, I don't give a crap what you say. You know, and he, he did his own stuff. And look at him now. He's doing, he's headlining things. He has his own festival. He has his own clothing line. And he's just doing his own stuff. But he does it for the fun of it. And that's that's one thing I love. Like, he does it for the fun of it. He doesn't give a crap what anybody else said, like what anybody else says. And that's what that's one thing I love about Tyler, man. And Tyler's just amazing. I love him. Um, and I want, uh, and he inspires other people. He, he inspired me um, he, with his songs to go out and do, to do it. You know what I mean? Like don't don't re, don't listen to to these. Uh, you know to these voices. Even, again, like I said last week, if it's family members, if it's friends. If they say, hey, no, you can't do this, or hey, no, I don't think you're going to be able to do it this way, 
who cares? Do your own stuff, man. Go your own way. Do your own thing. And, and, and show them, show them all that, no, this, I can do this. But the thing is, is that my music, and this is what, honestly, is what I'm worried about for me. It's not that, oh, my voice and stuff. No, I think, honestly, I do have a good, uh, I have a decent singing voice. Um, but one thing about it is that people are not going to like what I have to say. And honestly, I need to stop worrying about that because it's like, you know what I mean? Tyler don't give a crap what anybody else says. You know what I mean? I mean, go I mean, go uh, listen to Yonkers by Tyler. Like, he he don't care. Even his music today, he don't care. You know what I mean? And that's what makes him the person that he is today. But I t I'm going to be talking about changing the world. And that's the thing about today's music. People don't talk about that. People don't talk about changing the world. They, they just talk about, oh, well, I got... You know, I got all these girls and stuff. They talk about how their private part, you know, their private part taste, you know, and, you know, how much money they're making. And that makes me better than you because I have more money or oh, I have this house or oh, I have five cars that I literally don't need. That makes me better than you. And that I think that that's so stupid. And that's how our country and our world is so backwards. And that's why I can't stand our country because it's what we have to do to make it and what we have to do in order for the approval of other people. This is what we have to talk about in our songs. We have to use cuss words. We have to use profanity. We have to over-sexualize stuff. We have to over-sexualize music videos. And that's what wins. That's what wins music awards. That's what wins music videos awards. And it's stupid. And it's like, oh no, but if I talk about, oh, I wanna change the world, this, this, and that, it's probably not gonna get a lot because, oh no, people think that that's just, that's too soft. You know what I mean? And that's another thing that limits people is that, you know, it, it's it, it's all about the approval of other people. And that's how we go about and that's how we make our stuff. That's how we make our stuff work is going by what other people think. And honestly, we got to stop that. We got to we got to break that cycle because it's not it, it's not true. And once we can go there we can leap and we can go forward and we can reach with no ceiling just like tyler said there there can be a lot of people out there that are successful that can become successful and that that can actually make it it's not honestly about becoming successful that's not the goal it's about changing the world and making the world a better place and that's what a lot of these rappers and and musicians they don't talk about and I mean, and they say that, oh no, I care about it. I care about changing the world. I want to make the, I wish the world was a better place. Well, you don't put that in your music at all. You don't put that in your music. And I mean, honestly, one thing I really want to do too is if I make a hit song, I get a, a Grammy for it or whatever, I'm going to go and I'm going to make that speech to all the rappers. And I'm telling you, there's going to be a lot of them that are pissed. Like, especially like Megan Thee Stallion, like, or anybody, Cardi B, like anybody, Lil Nas X, like, I'm like I'm gonna be directed to, towards like every musician, including me, and be like, why? And because the thing is, is that Megan the Stallion could go and make a song about oh changing the world, no cussing, no talking about oh my, you know this how you know what my private parts you know taste like, you know what I mean? Shaking her butt in every freaking video. She can make a song without that, and she can make a music video without that. But the thing is, it's all about the sales and it's all about the money. So if she does that, she's gonna, she's not gonna have lots of supporters on it. She's gonna, she's not gonna make as much money doing it. The sales are gonna go down. It's all about the what is a what what is approved by the eye, and I and that's just how our world works. And it's stupid and it's dumb, and that's what I, I'm I'm going on that route. I'm going on that route. I'm going on that route by talking about how I'm want to change the world. You know, I don't gotta. Like, you, you, I don't understand why this much money makes me so much better than you. Why does it make me so much better than you because I have this much money? And that's the thing I don't understand what, what, why rappers say that. Because it's like, you're clowning and you're bullying, you're, you're making fun of somebody. You're speaking down on somebody because you're saying, oh, well, you're just a broke boy. But you came from the same spot. You, you came from the same spot. So you're clowning on somebody who's in that position where you came from. So you know how it is. But you wanna sit there and you wanna clown on that person. I think that that's so stupid and backwards. It's hypocritical. You know what I mean? So it's like, oh, now since oh, I got money now, I'm better than 
all of these other people who are just in this low and poor state. And I think that that's dumb. And I think when we can stop that and we can, you know, we can change it. We can change it. There can be a change, but it's it, it comes to us. But these people that have these dreams and stuff, I'm telling you right now, and this is what I'm, I'm trying to talk to y'all about this because the people who have these dreams, these big dreams, that are wanting to change the world, they don't come out because of because this is the world that we live in, and it's covered, it's masked by all this ugliness. And that's why a lot of these people don't go for their dreams and don't try to live out their dreams because, I mean, it's like, why? They're not going to listen, but I'm going to make them listen. And that's my goal. You know what I'm saying? I want everybody to listen. And if I can do that, man, that would be great. You know what I mean? If I can get my word out there. But like I said, I'm in the process of making a song. I, If I can, I will upload it to YouTube so you can see it. Okay, and if, you know, guys be like, oh, no, this is trash or whatever. Even if y'all say that, I don't care. I'm going to do my own thing. You know what I mean? But it's an amazing instrumental, honestly. Um, but I love each and every single one of y'all, man. I know this video was long, but yeah. Um, like I said about the Cash App giveaway, it's $50. It's going to be at the end of next month. Um, and, yeah, it's going to be at the end of next month. Um, I'm going to write the names down. M make sure you put your name down. Everybody has a chance to win, okay? So put your name down okay and it's got to be cash app so put your cash app name down there okay put your cash app name down there and um and yeah you know you might be you might be chosen i like to bless others you know what i mean and remember guys if somebody borrows something from you don't ask for it back don't ever ask for it back okay you're not supposed to do that you're supposed to do it out of the kindness of your heart are you not okay that's not and asking for it back is not, you know what I mean? Or making them feel obligated to, you know, to pay you back. No. If if I, all I want in return from anybody is that you have my back. So if I have your back, I want, you know, you know what I mean? I want you to have my back too. That's it. You know what I mean? I, if I give you $50, I don't need you to pay me back. You know what I mean? Like, no, I did that for the kindness of my heart. You know what I'm saying? So, but I do want your support though in, in, in anything, but. You know what I mean? But I, I just wish the world would be able to, you know, see that and stuff. And I want to keep making inspirational videos like that. And I think I found the answer. I think it's not gaming or anything. Because I started out as a gaming channel. But now I think this is what I need to be doing. It's my voice. It's my wisdom. And I think that's what gets me far. And a lot of people see it too. Especially at my church and stuff. And, um, but yeah, I man, I love each and every single one of y'all, man. You know what I mean? I really do. Keep doing what you're doing. Reach for no ceiling. Don't. You know, don't give a crap what anybody else says. There's no limit to your dreams, man. And keep doing it, all right? Keep doing it. Keep doing your thing. I love you guys. Until next time, man. Peace out.